All right, so for this video, we're gonna talk about a topic that I can't say it's not bothering me, but just today I'm just feeling some type of way and I just feel like I need to just sit down and talk to you guys about it. Um, maybe it will help you guys deal with some issues that's bothering you or what's in your life. Maybe this will help you out. But so the topic of the day is negativity, not just negativity to yourself, but the people around you, what's going on in your life. So I think that's what we're going to talk about today because I have been dealing with a lot of negativity in my life. And um, so I think it's time to just sit down and talk about it. Because if I just sit down and let the emotions like just sit in and not really talk about it, it's going to get worse. So I decided to um, start recording and tell y'all about the stuff and you just let it all out. So if y'all um, like this channel, like me, you know, please subscribe and like this video. It really helps a lot. Um, join the Munchie fam because there's going to be a lot more videos that are more, you know, uplifting stuff. But I think this is just a serious matter I want to talk about. So, like and subscribe and let's just get right into the video. Alright, so topic of the day is negativity. I just feel like this topic needs to be talked about a lot more. Because negativity is a serious matter when it comes to life itself. And I just really think if people talk about it more, they can let their emotions out and they can really feel better and move on be more positive, you know what I mean? Because I've dealt with this for a very long time. And at this point, it's go big or go home. So it's just what I've been dealing with was it was a lot of negativity in my life, which I've said, but uh, it all revolved around negative people that I have dealt with for years and years and it's just it really got to me and there was a point in time where I just cut it off because you know having all this negativity really brings you down makes you depressed and everything and you know what I was just fed up you know you guys will have a time you know in a day or in your life that you'll be like you know what this negativity that I'm dealing with it needs to stop and you're gonna take that step and cut all the negativity off because it's just it negativity is 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 real life it it sucks it really really does and for me since this is the topic I have dealt with I've dealt with a lot of negative people but there have been two certain people that I've dealt with um, I really don't care at this moment. I have, I've been done with them for a while. I have been doing better mentally, physically, emotionally with myself. Um, it's just really has been a lot. And, you know, one person I was in a relationship with and the other one was supposed to be my best friend. But as you can see, since there's a lot of negativity, that's not how it happened. And the guy that I was in a relationship for a while, he's just always been so negative. And you know, when you're in love, you make all these excuses for this person. Cause you're like, oh no, he, he was probably having a bad day or, oh, don't worry about it. It's not going to get to you. But the more and more it goes on and the more and more negativity, it brings you down. It makes you so depressed. It makes you hate yourself and stuff like that. You just make like a lot of excuses for this person because you think you love them but it's like now it's like no you can't do this you need to just cut it off and it took me a while to cut this person off from my life because I thought it was love and yes I'm going to admit that but it in reality when I got reality um, you know when reality kicked my ass it was like, um, excuse me, you need to cut this person off now because I was in a very depressive place. I was doing a lot of self-harm to myself and I haven't um, told 
people about this but i'm gonna let it all out i don't care what people say about it but it's just something you have you have, have to talk about and i know there's gonna be some family members watching this and they're not going to um what do you call it they're not gonna they're gonna be shocked because i don't talk about this but uh it does get emotional i will get emotional in this um but it's just you know this topic is really just about negativity and relationships and friendships that you thought you could trust and everything so Hold sorry on. guys i had to take a breather but i had the little tears out i this will get emotional but you know i just have to um spread awareness to this because it just I know a lot of people can relate to this. I know that for a fact. There's been people that has been talking to me. It's like, yo, I can understand this. I've had, I have a best friend that helps me deal with this, like, you know, and stuff like that. But there's a lot of things I'm talking about that I have not told any family member. I mean, certain things, you know what I mean? So that's why like I'm talking about like being depressed and self-harm and stuff like that because it's not good and it's not good to have all these negative people in your life because it's really going to bring you down and it's, you're really going to make all these excuses for them because past relationships, past best friendships, like I'm really going to talk about those two people because those two people really impacted my life, not in the best way because you think oh you're so happy with them you know relationships are not that they're making you happy but in reality there's so many things that go behind closed doors that not anybody not anybody knows about and that's the thing because you don't talk about it and that was my problem i don't talk about my feelings because people will go like go behind you stab your back and tell they give you all this shit about your feelings and stuff when you go and tell them so that's why my problem is is to not um tell people my feelings but i'm getting better at that day by day it takes a while for me to do that because i have with those two people it has made me have so many trust issues it like it sucks when you try to have a friendship or get into another relationship which i'm not doing because like i said i got trust issues and stuff like that and i'm not mentally physically emotionally like there yet which will take a while but you know this is something i really really take pride in and just want to really talk about because my past relationship was the worst the worst relationship i have ever had and i've always 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 made excuses for him i always have because i thought it was love i really thought it was love and I was so faced by it and it was didn't see all these bad things happen until years went by. And then that's when, you know, had so many fights with him. Had I've had um physical fights with him. You know, I've been depressed. I was self-harming myself for a while. I have been cheated on, I've been used, yada yada, yada all that stuff that, you know, I know people go through. And it's like I've dealt with so much because I thought it was love. I really thought it was love. I was like, oh no, you know, I love him. I don't want to let him go, whatever. But it took a while for me to see, yo, no, you need to cut this person off. It is bad for you. Stop trying to go back to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, with this person, he is so into his head that he thinks... You know, I can always get her back. I can always do this to her. And I still have these all these other girls. You know, and it really came to a time for the past couple of years that I was dealing with it. Like, go, like having fights with him and going off on him. Like, no, you're not supposed to do this to me. You are cheating on me. This is not good. You're using me. And he's one of those people that will try to get into your head and try to say all these things to make you feel better and you'll still do the same exact thing. He's one of those um, verbally, he is one of those verbally abusive guys. Cause he'll, you know, he's one of those manipulators that like he'll get on you, he'll yell at you, he'll do this, he'll do that. But then at the end of the day, he's like, 
oh no, I love you and stuff. I didn't mean it, blah, blah, blah. And that's what girls go to. You know, I've seen girls that do that. They're like, you know, yeah, we have this fight, but at the end of the day, he still loves me because he told me, but he's just getting into your brain and just doing this to you. And it's just like, he is like, just, you know, telling me he loves me, blah, blah. And I believe that at the end of the day, I did believe that. But there was a come of the time when we always got into fights. We always argued. There was no, like, it, there was always cheating going on because he is a man whore. Um, you know, there was a time that I've always fought him on it. I was like, look, you're not going to manipulate me. You're not going to get into my head. And he got mad because he knows now I'm telling him no. And he does not like that. He doesn't at all. If you tell him no and he doesn't get his way, he has his whole fit. And then whatever you said to him, he puts it back on you and stuff. And then talks about, oh, I never needed you anyways. You were always blah, 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 you know. But at the end of the day, he did because there was so much going on with it. And, like, I know that I shouldn't give him this time, this attention. But I need to just tell you guys that just negative people man can really ruin your life and you know i i had a best friend i had which i called her you know my best friend but at the end of the day it was always about her it was always about you know because she's used me for my house money car rides yada 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 you know and I was like, yeah, she's my best friend. I could do that. You know, she's my best friend. I can help her out and stuff. But at the end of the day, she used me for all this stuff. But when I needed her, she was nowhere to be found. Or if she talk, if I talked to her about my feelings, she always made it about herself. She always, always did. And it really got to a point like, wow, you really don't give a fuck. You don't. You always bring my situations always to you like oh it's always about me all about that like if i had relationship problems she's like oh oh it'll be fine but hey guess what my boyfriend and i are doing we're so happy blah 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 but at the end of the day it just got so annoying and my best friend which is still with me for like almost 10 fucking years was telling me mallory you need to cut cut these people off and i didn't listen there was times i didn't listen i was like no you know they're you know they're friends they're relationships i love them but she was one of the realities that kicked me in my ass. I was like, no, you need to do this now. Sit down. We're going to talk about this. And that's how it happened. And, um, it's just a lot going on. And I, I advise you guys, if y'all have relationships and y'all have these friendships that are so negative, that brings you out, that only talks about themselves, you need to cut them off now before it's too late. Because I don't. Like, I help a lot of people, you know, help with relationships and stuff. And I tell them, like, you know, no, I've had this experience. You need to cut this off now. It's going to get bad, but, like, the time goes on. Because if you're in this relationship that this guy or girl keeps cheating and cheating and cheating, but then tells you they love you and you believe it, it's, like, it's just so bad because they got into your head. They did. They... They already got your mentality and stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, I can finesse this because I know she'll stay. And I just advise you guys to please, please, please run if you can. Cut it off. Say no, fuck that, whatever it is. Because it, it really will get to people. And a lot of negativity around people will get them to even like commit suicide and stuff. And that's not okay. It's not. Because you have all, there's always going to be negative people in your life, but it need, you need to take that step and to really just, just step back. Step back and be like, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. You're out my life. It's done. It's over with. And yes, it's going to be hard. It is. But at the end of the day, you need to work on yourself. You need to work. You need to work on your happiness. You need to do this and do that. And it's going to take a while. It might hurt. It might not. But at the end of the day, you need to work on your happiness. You need to be positive. You need to work on your life. Even if it's with or, with, you know, with or without friends, if you have to cut people off, stand back and work on yourself, I advise y'all to do that. 
because there's just so much negativity that nobody needs and it's just it's really it's really frustrating and I really had to talk about this because it just it's bugging me and I just wanted to let my emotions out because today was like you know what I'm gonna just sit in front of the camera and just tell y'all everything because at the because you know what I know it's gonna make me feel better about myself and just helping you guys out with your issues and if y'all can relate to this because there's a lot more things I want to talk about that has happened in my life but that's not going to be told later time but I really just want to talk about the negative people and stuff like that because at the end of the day like even if you have a best friend for years at the end of the day you you are going to be alone you're going to be by yourself like at the end of the day when you die you're going to be by yourself in a coffin like it you're only going to be by yourself even if you have best friends. I love my best friend to death. She's always, she's like my pride and joy besides, you know, family and stuff. By the day, it's always going to end up with you. You are going to be just you by yourself and stuff like that. You're going to have all these people that are around you that make you happy stuff. That is great. But when you go and you pass away, you're left by yourself. That's just how it is. That's how life is. So... I really do advise you guys to really just, if you're going through stuff like I did, just start like thinking to yourself, hey, I really need to do this. Um, I need to cut these people off. It's not good for me. Just think about yourself. I know that people will be like, oh, that's selfish of you, but you need to be selfish at this point. You need to be like, no, I, I'm going to deal with my happiness. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on me. It's me, me, me. Because at the end of the day, it's just you. It is just you. I'm going to keep saying that over and over again. But it's true. It's only you at the end of the day. So you need to work on your happiness. You need to, like, work on your positivity and what you want to do. Just focus on you. Be that selfish person. Because I'm telling you now, if you put these people in front of you, you're not going to be happy. You are not going to you know you're just gonna be depressed and stuff and you're gonna wonder why people are not checking up on you and stuff like that because you got to check up on yourself you're gonna be like you know what I'm a backup let me do this I need my space and some people will understand that be like okay you know what you need your space you need to focus on you I'm still here you could do it because that's how my best friend was you know she I was like yo I need some space I need to do this and she was like okay but I'm still here if you need me if you need help you need somebody to talk to I'm still here you you can have those people but you need to take time and to yourself so I advise you guys to just take all the negative negativity out your life because it really really will put you down and you know I don't like seeing that I want to spread as much positivity and love as I can and stuff because I'm still working on me I'm still working on my mental issues I'm still working on my emotional issues my physical issues like I'm still working on that but I'm but it's not going to change overnight it's going to take a while for you to work on your happiness to work on you if you want to lose weight and stuff it's going to take time it's not gonna you're not gonna like gonna be like oh yeah I'm happy like no you will know when you're happy with yourself and then that's when you can you know get more friends or like have you know don't have so much trust issues and you could get into another relationship you always have to be happy with yourself you have to love yourself before you could love anyone else and I can stress I can stress that enough because I didn't love myself for a while and I'm starting to love myself each and every day and so when I know I'm exactly happy with myself that's when I'll know I could do what I what I want to do you know what I mean so just at the end of the day, love yourself, work on you if you got issues, do what you love to do with your life, do what you love to do in general, you know, just do you. At the end of the day, it is you. So, other than that, if I'm going to conclude this video because there's a lot of stuff I else I want to talk about, but that's going to be for another video. But if you guys like this video, like my advice, um, like me, like this channel. Um, click the subscribe button, turn your post notifications on, like this video, it will really help a lot. And I will do more videos like this. It's going to take time, 
when I want to like sit down and talk to you guys like I did today. But if y'all really like this, join the Munchie fam. There's going to be a lot more videos like this and like other fun stuff and everything like that. So like, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. I will post videos every single day. And if there's times when I can't, then I'll let y'all know. But I love you guys. Stay positive. Love yourselves. Bye, guys. Fruit.